Hey everybody, my name is Rachel Summers and I'm a junior at Hamlin University, currently studying abroad in London, England, and I quickly wanted to talk to you about the things that were most impactful to my in-core experience and how I was able to utilize um, some of the tools from the actual uh, conference in my own campus community. Um, so the sessions that I chose to attend were mainly how to use art as a tool for social change or racial justice and I remember being at one where there were these two, I think they were twin brothers or something like that and they were professors too at different universities and they actually used, it, used sculpture and painting and um, music I think as social change and um, different ways to engage about racial justice and I just thought this was like really a smart cool idea um, not only have were they able to impact their community through these things and um, but it's also just a different way to get people involved who don't like to just be talked at um, so I understand that method and I really think art heals um, and it can just use, be used as kind of like this way to transgress all these boundaries of oppression and stuff like that. Um, the ways in which um, our Anchor team actually uh, used some of the stuff from the conference, we had our conscious karaoke night where we actually examined uh, the lyrical content of all these rap songs and pop songs that we sing all the time and don't even really know that they're really not saying the best stuff. Um, and that was a really good night and that was a huge program for us um, because people love karaoke, yeah they do, but they also don't often realize the things that they're listening to and the things that they're being fed subliminally um, daily hourly, minutely, whatever. Um, and another session that my group did, we did um, spoken word, um, social justice spoken word kind of thing, and um, bring, brought in some artists from the community to perform um, pieces that were really about social engagement and activism and, um, you know, things regarding race and sexism and um, all those kinds of things. Uh, and very good nights and we got very good turnouts um, but one of the big one of the biggest things that I got from the conference was an idea um, uh, from it I wanted to use theater in a way as a tool for social change and I was able to team up with a professor um, when I got back home who also had the same idea and had been wanting to do something along the lines of using theater as social change and I'd researched with her for over a year, um, did collaborative research, and we then did an experimental class this last fall called Theater and Social Change um, because our end goal this whole time was to have a social justice theater troupe on campus that was addressing issues of oppression um, regarding uh, any of the isms happening to students, uh, faculty, and staff. My definition of social justice theater comes from me in that comes from an idea that anyone has the ability to take action when injustice is at the epicenter. So uh, through these theatrical performances, we're hoping to create new relationships among different communities on our campus and hopefully let them, um, hopefully from these plays, help them think more critically about how we deal with each other and daily life. Not tolerate because I hate that word because it's not what we want. We want to build healthy, sustainable relationships with people that we live and breathe with. So uh, that was a huge thing that I got from the Encore conference and I'm really excited about potentially going back um, my senior year. So um, yeah, so thank you.